Hello everybody and this is Chef van der Berg with uh, World Archery. Um, since a lot of us around the world are isolated and uh, we have to stay at home because of the coronavirus, um, we decided to do a Sunday quiz. I know some of us can practice but uh, some of us can't so um, it does mean that all of us are uh, in need of a bit of fun. So uh, yeah, we have, um, we have uh, set it up like this. There is three rounds of 10 questions and some of those questions are gonna be popping up on the screen. Um, if you wanna play along by answering them, answering them on a piece of paper at home or uh, on your phone or whatever you would, uh, you would like. So uh, I'm just gonna wait for a couple people to uh, join in with us and then uh, we're gonna start this whole quiz thing. So hopefully people are joining by now. Um, it's gonna be three rounds of 10 questions. Um, so get some pen and paper if you don't have them already or you can just uh, grab your phone and um, put it in your phone and we uh, will check the answers after uh, I have asked you the questions. The first round will be uh, a general archery knowledge round. So uh, just people uh, in archery should know these questions or not, maybe not. I have to admit that uh, I thought they were pretty difficult myself. Um, I'm just going to ask you guys some questions and uh, you will have to answer them. The second round will be uh, an archery picture round. So I'm going to uh, show you guys some uh, some zoomed in pictures. And you guys have to ask, have to guess who is in the picture. So uh, there's some, uh, some international shooters that uh, are in those pictures. And then the third round will be a general knowledge round. I think uh, two rounds of uh, about archery uh, should be enough for most people. So the third round is uh, just general knowledge. There's gonna be 10 questions in each round and um, I'm going to give all of the answers at the end of each round. So even if you're not watching this live, you can still take part. So if you wanna play, um, let us know in a message in the stream if, you wanna, if you're gonna play with us. So let's have a look. I don't see uh, many people in the stream yet, but uh, has everybody found their pen and paper? All right, by now I've, I think everybody should have their, uh, have their uh, pen and paper ready. Um, playing along at home, uh, just write your answers um, and then, uh, well, let's get started. So round one is all about archery knowledge. And I'm gonna start with question one. Question one is, in which year were the first FIDA or World Archery Championships held? That's uh, championships organized by the FIDA. So again, for, uh, for everybody to understand, the question one is, in which year were the first World Archery Championships held? That's the championships organized by FIDA. All right, question two. In which country is archery equipment manufacturer Biter based? That should be pretty easy for most. So again, question two, in which country is archery equipment manufacturer Biter based? I'm gonna give you guys a little hint. I can drive it from my home within uh, six hours, I think. Question three. Qu 
Question three is using standard wall archery scoring. If you shot three arrows and one hits the red, one hits the black, and one hits the gold, what's the lowest score you could have? So I'm going to repeat this question because it's a bit of a difficult one. Using standard world archery scoring, if you shot three arrows and one hits the red, one hits the black, and one hits the gold, what's the lowest score you could have? Just checking in if, uh, if anybody's uh, playing. Seems like it. Question four. Name the four reigning world archery champions from Den Bosch or Certo Den Bosch. So a bit more uh, elaborate. Question four. Name the four reigning world archery champions from the world archery championships in 2019 in Den Bosch. Someone's asking uh, who is in the back of uh, this uh, video. That's um, my girlfriend. And uh, she's just uh, sitting there. I think she's reading a book. What? Um, question number five. Bear bows have a maximum width and I have to be able to fit through a ring. What is the diameter of that ring? So again, question five, bear bows have a maximum width and have to be able to fit through a ring. What is the diameter of that ring? Pretty easy so far, I think. This is where it gets a bit more difficult. Just for the record, if you're Googling these answers, you're cheating, just calling it out. Question six, Kim Sung Jung is the most successful Olympic archer in the modern era, but how many medals did she win at the Olympics in total? So all of the Olympics and all the medals combined. Question six, Kim Sung Jung is the most successful Olympic archer in the modern era, but how many medals did she win at the Olympics in total? Which brings us to question seven. Question seven is, the Vegas shoot is a massive tournament. How many times has it been held so far? So once again, question seven, the Vegas shoot is a massive tournament. How many times has it been held so far? I think, uh, just for the record, uh, Andy, seems like you uh, think you're smart, but um, I haven't seen the answers yet. So this is all uh, all me. Question eight: In which year was the Eastern X10 Arrow released? In which year was the Eastern X10 Arrow released? All right, question nine. Which order do you have to shoot a triple spot indoors? So once again, question nine, which order do you have to shoot a triple spot indoors? And then question 10. Question 10 is what is the minimum and maximum distances for targets in world archery field competitions? Again, question 10. What is the minimum and maximum distances for targets in world archery field competitions?
So just in case you missed any questions, um, they are also in the comments of this live stream, so you can uh, you can look back at them there. But I will repeat them all uh, real quick. So. Um, Question one is, in which year were the first World Archery Championships held? That's championships uh, organized by FIDA. Question two is, in which country is archery equipment manufacturer Biter based? Question three, using standard World Archery scoring, if you shot three arrows and one hits the red, one hits the black and one hits the gold, what's the lowest score you could have? Question four is name the four reigning World Archery Champions from the Bulls, so the 2019 World Championships. Question five was, bare bows have a maximum width and have to be able to fit through a ring. What is the diameter of that ring? Question six, Kim Son Young is the most successful Olympic archer in the modern era, but how many medals did she win in the Olympics in total? Question seven, the Vegas shoot is a massive tournament. How many times has it been held so far? Question eight is, in which year was the Eason X10 arrow released? Question nine was, which order do you have to shoot a triple spot indoors? Question 10 is, what is the minimum and maximum distances for targets in World Archery Field Competitions? And that was all the 10 questions again. So let me know in the comments if you uh, haven't seen or heard one of the questions, and then we'll soon get to the answers. I think it's time for the answers. I will get to them now. So, question one was, in which year were the first World Archery Championships held? The answer is 1931. I wonder if anybody got that. I see that Gijs has joined in. So uh, he might know all these. So 1931 was the answer to question one. They were held in uh, Poland, but uh, they were held in Luo, or however you uh, pronounce that. But it's now uh, actually part of Ukraine. So technically speaking, uh, I would just say Eastern Europe. Question two was where is Biter based? Uh, the answer is Germany. Uh, it's in a beautiful little village in Germany called uh, Dauchingen. And uh, like I said before, it's about six hours of driving from uh, where I live and uh, where I'm sitting right now. So just for the record, question one, the answer was 1931. Question two, the answer was Germany. Question three, you have one arrow in the red, one in the black and one in the gold. What is the lowest possible score? And the answer would be 19 points. The lowest scoring arrow in the red would be seven, in the black would be three, in the gold would be nine. So seven, seven plus three plus nine is 19. Question four, name the four reigning World Archery Champions. So the four champions from the 2019 World Championships in Dimbles. And the answer is Lei Chin Ying, Brady Ellison, Jimmy Lutz, and Natalia Avdeva. 
So you get a quarter of a point per correct name. I'll just uh, I'll just uh, repeat this. The four reigning World Archery Champions, which is also the answer to question four, is Lei Chen Ying, Brady Ellison, Jimmy Lutz, and Natalia Avdeva. You can give yourself a quarter point per correct name that you have. Question five. What is the diameter of a bear bow ring? So the ring that you put a bear bow uh, through to uh, check if it's uh, according to regulations. And the answer is 12.2 centimeters, which is, funnily enough, the same size as a 10 ring on a 122 centimeter face. So the, uh, the face that we use for recurve shooting in the uh, World Cups and the Olympics, for instance. So qu question number five was 12.2 centimeters. Question six, how many medals did Kim Sung Jung win at the Olympics in total? The answer is an astonishing six medals. She won six medals in the Olympics. She won three golds in team, uh, an individual gold, a silver and a bronze across the games in 1988, 1992 and 2000. So uh, over a course of 12 years, she managed to uh, rack up six medals, which is very impressive if you ask me. Let's see. Question number seven. The question was how many Vegas shoots have been held? And the answer to that question is 53. And that's also the reason why the uh, Compound Open Division Grand Prize was $53,000. So that's, uh, that's enough to get you a decent car. Um, question number eight. Uh, in which year was the X10 Arrow released? And the answer to question number eight was 1996. It was after the Atlanta Olympic Games, which is, uh, which is, I think, uh, ever since then, one of the most used arrows in a high level competition, which is also pretty cool. They date back about 24 years. Question number nine is, or was, which order do you shoot at a triple spot? And the answer is, it's a trick question, uh, whatever order you would like. Some people uh, prefer to shoot bottom to top, uh, some people shoot top to bottom, and other people start in the middle. There's no, uh, there's no correct answer to this, it's uh, whatever your preference is. And then the last question of the first round was, the minimum and the maximum distances for the targets in field archery are and the minimum is five meters and the maximum is six me 60 meters sorry so um, you get half a point for uh, each right answer so if you got five and 55 for instance you get a half a point or if you got 10 and 60 you also get half a point but if you got five and 60 you get a whole point So uh, yeah, there were some uh, some tough questions in there, but yeah, there were also some easy questions. So uh, I'm wondering how did uh, how did everybody do? Did anybody get ten points in this? I think I would have uh, I would have not made it to ten points without googling anything. I would have um, I would have probably needed to Google the Kim Sung Jung medal count and the uh, first World Archery Championships. I don't think I, uh, I would have got those right without, uh, without looking them up. But the rest is, uh, I mean, to me, that seems like uh, general, general uh, knowledge. I see six correct answers, that's not bad. That's pretty good. I wonder how much, uh, how many questions the uh, the person uh, writing this quiz would have gotten. But uh, yeah, thanks, uh, Rui Miguel Brito, for uh, for replying. Uh, good job on six correct answers. That's uh, that's not too bad at all. 
So the next round, the next round is actually uh, quite fun. This is uh, going to be uh, technically difficult for me because I uh, am not the best live streamer in uh, in the world. But uh, thanks, uh, Racheli Salinas, for uh, guessing five correct. That's uh, that's not bad. I would uh, I would probably settle for a five out of ten in school, but uh, that's a whole different problem. So the second round uh, is a picture round. So I'm going to um, I'm going to show you guys pictures that are zoomed in of uh, famous archers or at least international archers that uh, have been uh, shooting at the international circuit, and then it's uh, it's up to you to find out who they are. So I'm gonna give you uh, some time on each one of them, but um, yeah. So. Uh, are you guys ready for this? Because I am. Also wondering if uh, if everybody is uh, doing well in this uh, this quarantine. I have a little uh, target uh, bill set up here at uh, at about four meters, so I can shoot some arrows uh, every once in a while. Have to do something, right? So. Everybody ready for round two? This is gonna be the picture round. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold uh, or I'm gonna show you pictures of famous archers for about uh, ten to twenty seconds, and then uh, you get to write down who you think they are. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's go for it. First picture. This is a pretty famous archer and. He's been uh, shooting for a long while now at the highest level. So just to clarify, you have to uh, you have to write down the name of the archer that I'm showing right now. So next picture, there you go. So who do you think this person is? There are some giveaways in this picture. You can look at the equipment you can look at uh, the jersey they all lead to a certain place all right i think that's enough for this picture let's go to the next one so this is picture three just to be uh, clear with you guys picture number three Again, here's some uh, some giveaways. You can see uh, a little uh, little flag peeking out. Should be easy this one. So let's go to picture number four. Very recognizable picture, if you ask me. Then again, I've. Uh, spent too much of my life looking at archery videos and uh, spent uh, too much time of my life shooting archery so uh, might be a bit different for me for the record this is picture number four let's go to picture number five with a very characteristic release and uh, I think uh, I think this one should be uh, quite easy for most recurve archers and uh, I bet uh, some compound archers will, will also know this one 
at least the country is quite obvious. So let's go to picture number six. Picture number six is uh, a funny one. And I have to uh, I have to admit that I was also guilty of uh, taking this pose in Berlin last year. Hey Gareth, uh, thanks for uh, watching or uh, maybe even playing in this uh, quiz. Um, you're asking me if I'm uh, doing any shooting currently, uh, which I am. Um, I'm uh, working in a uh, shop in the Netherlands called the Dutch Bow Store um, and I get the chance to shoot there. And uh, I also have a blank veil set up uh, in my house at about three or four meters. So it's not much, but it's something. So I think everybody has, uh, has seen picture number six. So let's go to picture number seven. And to be honest, if you, um, if you follow the, uh, the archery scene a little bit, I think you should get this with ease. I think this is a very easy one. I think one of the one of the most famous uh, archers on the circuit right now. But I might be fanboying. So I think this was enough time for everybody to guess this one correctly. And that makes it time to go to picture number eight. Again, I think, uh, I think most people uh, will recognize this lady. Even though there is a very zoomed in picture. I think uh, her eyes are very easy to recognize. All right, I think if you, uh, if you don't have it by now, you won't get it. So it's time to go to picture number nine. Someone who we haven't seen for too long on the international circuit yet, but he's definitely left his mark already. So I think uh, this one should be uh, should be quite possible to uh, guess correctly as well. So let's see who can fill in the blank on this picture before going to um, picture number 10. I, uh, I'm not sure who would uh, in the right mind wear a cap like this, but um, it's definitely somebody from the international circuit. So I'm give, gonna give you guys uh, gonna give you guys a little bit more time to get this one, but um, I think if you uh, don't have it by now, that's pretty much gonna be it. So, did you get any, or uh, did you think they were too difficult? I think. People who follow the international circuit should have uh, should have got this. So uh, it shouldn't uh, shouldn't be too difficult if you ask me. Let's see um, how many uh, how many you have. So does anybody think they have all of them correct? 
Did anybody write them all down? Nobody thinks that they have all of them correct. In that case, let's see how many you got then. So I'm just gonna... So... This was picture number one. And the answer to picture number one would be Marco Gagliazzo, the 2004 Olympic champion and 2012 team Olympic champion. So definitely a, a famous person in archery. I think you're absolutely right, Jasmine. If you got number 10, uh, you must have been some sort of genius. So, picture number two was... No, actually, I'm gonna repeat this. Picture number one was Marco Gagliazzo, the Olympic champion from 2004. Just in case anybody uh, skipped it. Number two was this one. And that was uh, Melanie Gobil, or that was probably the worst French that anybody's ever heard, but um, I had a, a very bad grade in French at school. So uh, anybody uh, that had both of them uh, correct? I see that somebody's guessing uh, Steve Weiler on uh, number two, but uh, I'm not sure how to feel about that. I don't think this uh, looks like Steve Vila, but I might see him too much for that. But I'm sure that uh, he's happy that uh, you think uh, about him in these times. So this is a Melanie Gobil. Picture number three was this person. And this person, as you can see by the color of his t-shirt, is from uh, Colombia. And from Colombia, shooting compound is, of course, Daniel Munoz. I thought it was quite obvious, but um, yeah, maybe I'm a bit of an archery nerd. It's a good picture though, in uh, Antalya. Let's hope that uh, we get back there someday. So Daniel Munoz was in picture number three. Picture number four. Picture number four was obviously Yassim Bostan, which uh, yeah, you can easily spot by uh, just looking at her eyes, I think. Then again, I have been uh, looking at archery way too much over the last couple of years. So maybe it's easier for me than uh, for most. We are to down to picture number five. And picture number five was uh, again quite obvious to me. I don't think the uh, zoomed out picture really uh, helps you, but uh, if you didn't know it before, 
but uh, this is of, of course this is Choi Misun picture number six of uh, of course this is the Berlin Bear and then also Gabi Boyardo Chan is in the picture but I, I guess we were looking for the uh, Berlin Bear or Gabi Boyardo Chan I don't know picture number six was quite obvious to me Xenia Perova let's see picture number eight was uh, Chang Jie Yin the uh, Olympic champion of 2016 in Rio picture number nine is uh, I think a breakthrough of the year if I'm not mistaken but I might be I sometimes am Jimmy Lutz if you uh, remove the white from uh, the white circle from his face it's uh, quite easy to spot and then picture number 10 was yours sincerely. So um, yeah, I managed to uh, snag a spot in this uh, photo round as well. So now I am wondering if anybody had 10 correct guesses or answers maybe I think uh, this one was quite quite obvious but then again I see these uh, people uh, I see these people quite often so maybe it's easier for me than for most see somebody gets it Shahar Kleiner gets that uh, the last picture was me and uh, Rui Miguel Brito had four right, which is uh, I guess not bad if you're uh, if you're not watching archery as much as I am uh, watching it. But uh, yeah, I am uh, I'm a bit of a nerd. How many how many did everybody get right? Robert only got three right. I think you need to uh, you need to practice more, Robert. There's a whole lot of uh, YouTube videos on the World Archery YouTube where you can uh, watch YouTube videos of archery, and uh, I think uh, I think you should do your homework better. Uh, Jano had eight out of ten, which is uh, definitely better than my French grade, and uh, Racheli got six, which is uh, which is a pass in Dutch schools. Six out of ten is a pass, so. Uh, I'd be uh, pleased with that. So supposedly but I, I cannot see all of the uh, the comments. Jasmine got nine. So uh, seems like we have a winner of the picture round so far. Um, worth the mention, Jano also got eight. So uh, not bad, not bad at all. I think, I think it's time for the uh, last part of this, uh, of this quiz. This little Sunday evening quiz. I hope everybody is having as much fun as I am having with this because uh, I'm just having a lot of fun. So uh, moving on to the general knowledge quiz. This is um, almost uh, almost not archery related whatsoever. So let's uh, let's see uh, what everybody will do. Um, question one is 
how many countries are there in the world and uh, we are taking the UN definition so the uh, United Nations definition how many countries are there in the world then question two who was the first emperor of the Roman Empire anybody question two who was the first emperor of the Roman Empire Remember, you can write all of this down, and at the end of this, we will uh, we will see who has the most correct answers. This is all general knowledge, so um, I'd be super impressed if you get all of this. I have a friend who is a history teacher, so he should uh, he should do well in this. Question three: Which movie released in 1991 started starred Kevin Costner and featured bows and arrows? So again, which movie released in 1991 starred Kevin Costner and featured bows and arrows? I think if you haven't watched that, that's a good thing to do uh, in this uh, time of uh, quarantine. You can, uh, you can watch that movie, which we will uh, tell you uh, in a minute which movie that is. Question four. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of many gases. Which gas makes up the majority? So of which gas is there the most in the world? Again, the Earth's atmosphere is made up of many gases. Which gas makes up the majority? I think, uh, I think some people might know this. My uh, school career hasn't uh, spanned for long enough to uh, remember all of this. So once again, just to be sure, the Earth's atmosphere is made up of many gases. Which gas makes up the majority? And on to question number five. Here is a math question. Seven plus two times 10 minus 9 divided by 9 equals so I'll do it again 7 plus 2 times 10 minus 9 divided by 9 This is uh, pretty much middle school math, so uh, I think most other people should get this correct. In which year? Sorry, question six. I'm uh, going a little too fast. Question six. In which year did the following three things happen? The Leaning Tower of Pisa reopened after renovations lasting 11 years. The World Archery Championships were held in Beijing and the human genome sequence was revealed. So question six, in which year did the following three things happen? The Leaning Tower of Pisa reopened after renovations lasting 11 years the World Archery Championships were held in Beijing and the human genome sequence was revealed. Again, if you, uh, if you didn't understand me uh, reading out the question or if you uh, are just joining in, you can read back the questions in the comments because uh, our uh, good friends at World Archery are typing with me so that the uh, questions are easy to read for you. Now let's go to question number seven. Which singer is famous for the songs Hound Dog, Blue Suede Shoes and Burning Love? This is a bit of a cold question. Question seven. Which singer is famous for the songs Hound Dog, Blue Suede Shoes and Burning Love? Anyone? Anyone? I'm 
I'm gonna wait a little bit until uh, until I see the question pop up in the comments, and then I'm gonna go to question number eight. Who wrote the books on which the TV series Game of Thrones is based? So who wrote the books on which the TV series Game of Thrones is based? I think I, uh, I might have some of those. But I'm not going to show them to you because that would spoil the answer. So, round three, question nine. What is the currency of Japan? Round three, question nine. What is the currency of Japan? Some say this is not an archery question, but I would argue against that. There is one question less left for this live stream so uh, better make it a good one what is the capital of bangladesh so question 10 is what is the capital of bangladesh and that's all uh, all the questions so If anybody uh, hasn't uh, hasn't paid attention, I am going to uh, read out loud all of the questions again, but uh, this time in a little faster pace. So, question one: How many countries are there in the world? We are taking the UN definition. Question two: Who was the first emperor of the Roman Empire? Question three. Which movie, released in 1991, starred, starred Kevin Costner and featured bows and arrows? Question 4. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of many gases. Which gas makes up the majority? Question number 5. Here's a math question. 7 plus 2 times 10 minus 9 divided by 9 equals... Question number 6. In which year did the following three things happen? The Leaning Tower of Pisa reopened after renovations lasting 11 years. The World Archery Championships were held in Beijing. The Human Genome Sequence was revealed. Question number seven. Which singer is famous for the songs Hound Dog, Blue Suede Shoes and Burning Love? Question number eight. Who wrote the books on which the TV so series Game of Thrones is based? Question number nine. What is the currency of Japan? And question number 10. What is the capital of Bangladesh? So those are the 10 questions. If you haven't uh, listened well, or if you couldn't understand me properly, uh, all of the questions are also in the comments. So you can uh, scroll back through uh, those and uh, see if you uh, if you find any luck answering them and I'm um, gonna give you uh, a little bit of time still to uh, answer those questions before going to the answers and I'm, uh, I'm curious who uh, who will get the high score and uh, I'm curious how many people uh, actually played I think uh, the last round of the general knowledge 
I wouldn't have done very well if I uh, if I were to be playing. Obviously, question one, I would have guessed how many countries there are. I have no idea. I have no idea about the uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So I wouldn't have cleaned it, that's for sure. Question seven, I would have known. Question eight, question nine. For the rest, uh, well, question five is easy. For the rest, uh, I wouldn't have known. So let's get to the answers. The answers to round three. And then after that, we're gonna look at all of the, all of the answers or all of the points. Um, Answers to round three are, question one was, how many countries are there in the world? The answer, according to the UN, is 195. Question two, who was the first emperor of the Roman Empire? And the answer is uh, Augustus, but we'll also accept Octavian. Question number three was the moving starring uh, Kevin Costner and Archery released in 1999. And the answer is, of course, Robin Hood, The Prince of Thieves. Arguably one of the best movies ever made, but arguably. I think Forrest Gump might top it. Question number four was which case makes up uh, most of the world's atmosphere? Which gas? The answer is nitrogen at 78%. Who would have known? Would have guessed uh, it was oxygen. Then again, I didn't finish my education. see question five was the math problem um, the math problem was seven plus two times ten minus nine divided by nine and the answer the answer that I got is wrong I think But I, I'm sorry, um, I'm, I'm just trying to calculate this in my head. But to me, it makes more sense. 7 plus 2 times 10, so 7 plus 20 minus 9 is 11 divided by 9, which makes for a little more than 1. But the answer I got is 9, and I think that's wrong. Anybody, uh, is there any uh, mathematicians uh, in, in the room? Okay, apparently nine is correct. 
I didn't know about uh, text mode, but um, thanks, uh, thanks Sando, for uh, for clarifying. <laughs> Bit of an awkward moment. Never uh, ruined a live stream, did it? Okay. Okay, makes sense. Didn't mean to uh, <laughs> didn't mean to strip anybody of any points. So let's go with nine, since uh, everybody's telling me it's nine, and uh, I should just uh, shut up. <laughs> and let's not do any math questions anymore in the future. So question six. Let's uh, forget about question five. Question six is a much more important question. In which did the Leaning Tower of Pisa reopen, the World Championships take place in Beijing, and the Human Genome Sequence get revealed? And the answer would be 2001. I didn't know that, but um, now I know. So, uh, answer to question 6, 2001. Question 7 uh, was, which singer is famous for songs including Hound Dog, Blue Suede Shoes, and Burning Love? And the answer is, of course, Elvis Presley, king of rock and roll. Question eight was, who wrote the books on which Game of Thrones is based? And the answer is George R.R. R. Martin, which is, uh, I think, pretty, uh, pretty obvious. And then question nine was the currency of Japan. To which the answer is yen. So question nine, the answer is yen. Question ten was the capital of Bangladesh, and the answer is Dhaka. So ten questions. I probably would have got uh, minus four on these. So uh, yeah. then again, uh, we just uh, figured out that my math is not the best. I feel like uh, I got tricked though, because I, uh, I needed to read the question out loud. So I'm wondering how many people um, how many people had all the all these questions right? Racelli had eight out of ten. That is very impressive, if you ask me. I uh, I wouldn't have got eight. That's uh, that's for sure. How many points? Uh, how many points did anybody get in total? Did every, did anybody uh, did anybody play the whole uh, quiz? So James Bonfield has seven, which doubled his score from the previous two rounds, make, which makes his score a total of fourteen. I guess. I'm not uh, I'm not taking any chances anymore with uh, with my math problems, so I might be wrong there as well. So um, there's 30 points in total. How many? Uh, how many did everybody get? I think I would have got around 20, maybe a little more, but uh, not not much. At least I uh, I can say I had 10 out of 10 for the picture round. All right, I should I should do n no maths whatsoever ever again, because apparently James had ten and a half because he doubled the points, as in two times the previous. Um, Rachelli would have had nineteen out of thirty, which is uh, respectable, I think. Respectable. I'm curious to uh, Sandor because he uh, he had 9 out of 10 in the last round the picture round wasn't 
wasn't very difficult. And then the quiz, the archery quiz was not very difficult either. So uh, Sandro, what did you get? Nothing, four and nine, so 13. I didn't know you could you could shoot a miss in uh, in the first round. Did you uh, did did you miss the first round? As in, you didn't see it, or you didn't compete, or did you get ten questions wrong? Well, anyways. I uh, I had fun doing this quiz. It's a bit of a, a bit of a low budget uh, setup we have here, but um, it did uh, it did work. Um, thanks for playing, and uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, please let us know. We might uh, we might do another one next week. Um, maybe I uh, I'm the host again, but I don't know. Um, but what's more important than uh, me being a host or not is that um, everybody uh, tries to stay as safe as possible in these uh, in these weird times. Um, look after yourselves and uh, and and look after each other and uh, just uh, yeah take all the precautions that your uh, government has uh, has given you and uh, try to stay safe and hopefully uh, see you soon. So. Thanks for, uh, for being here and uh, I will see you on the, the next one.